Hello and welcome to The Print. Turkey's longest-serving leader, President Erdogan, has accepted his party's defeat after the opposition secured victories in his hometown, Istanbul, and capital, Ankara, in crucial local polls. This comes nine months after Erdogan extended his two decades in power by bagging a presidential runoff election with over 52% of the vote. However, Sunday's municipal polls delivered a major blow to Turkey's main party, the AK party. This is Erdogan's party that failed to win key urban areas that it had lost five years ago, and more so Istanbul, Turkey's business hub and the place where Erdogan was not only born and raised, but began his political career as mayor in 1994. After accepting defeat, Erdogan termed the results a turning point, not an end, adding that Turkish democracy proved its maturity again while speaking to supporters at his party's headquarters on early Monday morning. The country's Opposition party, the Republican People's Party or the CHP, celebrated victories not just in key hubs like Istanbul and Ankara, but in 36 out of the country's 81 municipalities that went to polls. However, this is not the first time that Erdogan's party faced a major defeat in local polls. In fact, every five years, Turkey holds local elections on the last Sunday of March. In 2019, considered Erdogan's worst electoral setback since coming into power, his party ended 25 years of rule in Istanbul after the opposition's candidate, Ekrem Imamoglu, won the mayoral race. At that time, his party also lost control of key urban areas which they were seeking to win back in Sunday's polls. Imamoglu, who won in 2019, was re-elected as Istanbul mayor on Sunday, defeating the ruling party's candidate and former Environment and Urbanization Minister Murat Kurum. He secured more than 50% of the vote and defeated his rival by more than 11 points and almost 1 million votes. Increasingly being touted as the man who could end Erdogan's reign, Imamoglu, in a statement on X, called the recently held polls proof of the resilience of democracy amid rising authoritarianism. In the 2019 Istanbul mayor race, Imamoglu had beaten another political heavyweight, former Prime Minister Binali Yildirim. Senior Turkish political analyst and commentator Rusin Kakir claims Erdogan's party lost out on votes from pensioners due to his controversial economic policies. It is certain that the AKP received 3 million fewer votes, especially the situation of pensioners due to economic problems, he wrote for independent Istanbul-based news outlet Mediascope. In February, it was reported that Turkey's annual inflation soared to 67%. This was after years of Erdogan's unorthodox economic policies, where the central bank continued to cut borrowing rates despite high inflation. Erdogan has in the past declared himself an enemy of interest rates and believes high interest rates slow economic growth and fuel inflation. That said, last June, Erdogan said he would accept his new finance minister, Mehmet Simsek's outlook on interest rates in Turkey, suggesting a return to standard macroeconomic policies. On Monday, after the recently held polls, Simsek reiterated the government's promise to reduce the country's inflation to single digits by 2026. In his analysis, political commentator Kakir had pointed out that Sunday's polls were historic, as the ruling party lost three metropolitan 12 provincial, 180 districts and 77 town municipalities, despite bagging one province and five district municipalities for the first time. The opposition also won Turkey's fourth biggest city, Barsa, and Balakisir in the northwest, as well as Adiyaman, which was hit by the major earthquake last year. Like we saw in Istanbul, Mansur Yavas, the mayor of Ankara, retained his seat, with a 25% difference over his rival, results showed. According to Omer Anas, a political scientist based in Ankara who is originally from New Delhi, the results of the Ankara mayoral race were expected. The victory of Ankara Mayor Mansoor Yavas was widely anticipated. The general perception of his performance as mayor is very positive. He comes from nationalist party background and easily connects with a wide range of supporters from conservatives to nationalists to secularists, Anas told the print. Anas also said that since Ankara is the capital city, the re-election of an opposition candidate has set the perception game much in favour of the opposition party. 
Thanks for watching. This is Pia Krishnakuti for the print.